Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to show you a simple, quick and easy recipe of how we made our carrots and saltfish fritters. So stay tuned. So what we've got here is a bowl of shredded carrots. You can add any amount of quantity that you want. And of course over here is our saltfish. It's already cleaned up very nicely. And we also add a little bit of touch of spice, which is scotch bonnet pepper, a bit of celery. Now you can add onions, bell peppers, and things like that. It's up to you. We have a bowl with some flour and we're just throwing in another cup of plain flour. Now again, we're not doing any measurements. We just add any amount that we want want to we pour in our water right here we're going to mix this batter around to the consistency that we want previous to the other videos of fritters that you see on our channel before that we've uploaded it's just different type of um, ingredients that we add you know bit by bit we've done i think cabbage um fritters before and things like that or saltfish fritters and then we're putting in our saltfish here now um not because we're adding in our saltfish it doesn't mean that we cannot add a pinch of salt to taste if we feel like we need a little bit more of that <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> kind of taste and we're just gonna mix this around and of course we will put our carrots in shortly but let's just mix this around first to get the batter to have what we want okay So now that our main ingredients is all mixed in very nicely together, which is a carrot and a saltfish, we're just adding in a little bit of scotch bonnet pepper and celery. I mean, you can add any other things that you like to, whether it's spring onions, whether it's bell peppers, just anything. It's totally up to you. This is just an optional thing. I mean, I don't know if you guys follow us on Instagram to know that we like a little bit of extra spice. Yes, we do. So no matter what happened, we slip a bit of scotch bonnet pepper into anything that we're making. In. we're just mixing everything around again so everything really sits and incorporate really nice and now we're just gonna move on to frying these very nice and gently we keep the fire on medium you don't want it too high again it's the same as how we do all of the fritters by making sure that they're nice and fried and soaked from the inside to the outside these were absolutely amazing it's something that you can basically have for your lunch share with your neighbors your friends call some family over <laughs> have a little bit of tea as well with it absolutely amazing i actually think i prefer this um saltfish and carrot fritters better than i think the cabbage and the carrot fritters yeah we've done that one before it's on our channel so we're now flipping these overs now but what you guys need to do is just keep a close eye on your pot and basically um just type them just give it like every five minutes or so and we just continue to flip them until we get them exactly what we want so yeah this is something that you can try please remember to follow us on instagram as well at joan homemade meals you can like share you can leave your comments if you like or any sort of tips we appreciate it it doesn't matter <laughs> quite open honestly we're just kind of flipping them over again to get that proper golden crust and well done fritters yeah what's your favorite fritters you can leave that in the comment section as well it's up to you so we're now basically removing the first batch which you can see right here we basically just put them on a like a paper towel here which will help to kind of remove the excess oil you know what I mean we'll say drain off the oil yes we do and everything is all done and dusted right here guys thank you so much for watching you can have this with whatever you want we basically snap this up with some curried chicken but like I said you can have it with whatever you want we hope you enjoy this video please don't forget to give us a little thumbs up and until next time bye